Are you new to Linux? If so, you've probably found the command line can be a bit intimidating. Don't worry, it is for everyone at the beginning. That's why I'm here to guide you through the process. And today, I'm going to show you how to copy files and folders from the command line. Why would you need to copy files and folders this way? You might have find yourself on a GUI-less Linux server and need to make a backup of a configuration file or copy a data directory. Trust me, at some point, you're going to need to be able to do this. So, without further ado, let's find out how. First, we'll copy a file. Let's say you're about to make changes to the Samba configuration file smb.conf, and you want to back up a copy just in case something goes wrong. To copy that file, use the cp command to copy the source to the destination like so. cp slash etsy slash samba slash smb.conf slash etsy slash samba slash smb.conf dot back. You've probably already encountered your first problem. Because the smb.com file is in Etsy, you'll need to use sudo privileges to make the copy. So the correct command is sudo cp slash etsy slash samba slash smb.conf slash etsy slash samba slash smb.conf dot back. In this example, smb.conf is our source, and smb.conf dot back is our destination. You might want to preserve the file attributes, such as directory and file mode, ownership and timestamps, during the copy. For that, we use the dash "-a", option, as in sudo cp "-a", slash etsy, slash samba, slash smb.conf, slash etsy, slash samba, slash smb.conf dot back. Copying a directory is done in the same way, only you use the dash capital R option for recursive. So let's say you want to make a backup of the entire Etsy Samba directory, and you want to copy it to your home directory. That command would be cp dash capital R slash Etsy slash Samba tilde slash Samba dot back. To preserve the attributes while copying the directory, the command would be sudo cp dash A capital R slash Etsy slash Samba tilde slash Samba dot back. And that's all there is to it. You've just copied your first files and directories from the Linux command line. Now, go out and celebrate this victory. You've earned it. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.